Hi, this is Daniel and in today's video I would like to show you how you can download, install and use multiple OBS studios at the same time. Okay, so first of all, we need to download the latest version of the OBS studio. For this, simply go towards this website, link will be in the description and then we will go towards the download and click on download via zip in case, of course, we are using Windows. So in case we are using Windows, download zip and as you can see now we will choose where we want to save it and as soon as it's downloaded we can simply open this zip file and then we want to create a new folder for this obs because as we can see at the moment we got already multiple obs installed we got two on our desktop and one which i have simply pinned on my bar which i am using at the moment to record this video so we got already two obs we are going to create the third one so for this as i said already we are going to extract this downloaded bin data to new obs studio folder so firstly we are going to choose where we want to have our obs to be installed in my case it's going to be in this pc and in the d and then i'm going to create new folder so folder obs let's say webcam now I can simply open this folder and drag and drop there all of those folders from the downloaded zip file. Okay, so now we got basically downloaded and installed completely new OBS. But in case we would actually want to create a new shortcut on our desktop and to also make sure that we can run multiple OBS at the same time, we need to go toward Beam 64 bit and then I will create the shortcut on the desktop. So I will right click on this OBS64 application and then I will go to send to and desktop, create shortcut, just like this. As you can see, new OBS shortcut just appeared on the desktop. But now in case we would like to run this OBS, it will say OBS is already running because it actually is. On one OBS, we are recording this video. So we don't want to launch it anyway. I will cancel. I will right click on this new created shortcut, I will go to properties and then I will add here one simple command in the target line to actually make sure that I can run multiple OBS at the same time. So behind this target, what is basically the location of where our new OBS is installed, I will click one space and dash dash or minus minus and then I will simply write portable just like this. Apply. Okay, now we can also, of course, rename this for the OBS webcam, for example, just like that. And now when I will run it, as you could see, new auto configuration wizard just appeared and it did not ask anymore whether we want to launch the another OBS as one OBS is running. So thanks this, just like that, you can set up and run multiple OBS at the same time. Maybe you would ask, why would I do that? Maybe you want to use one OBS for streaming only, one for streaming for YouTube, for example, because there is different bitrate that you can use for your streams. One you can use for recording only, or basically you want to use different alerts for different OBS for different streaming platforms. Or you want to simply run multiple OBS in which you will, for example, explain what you are doing in OBS and with the second OBS you are recording your tutorial. So there are multiple reasons why you would like to use the multiple OBS, but in the end it's up to you how you want to use it. Another advantage of using multiple OBS is that you got all of the settings for all of those separate OBS saved in these separate folders. Thanks what, in case you will change any of those settings, any of the hotkeys, anything regarding bitrate or scene, it will be changed for one OBS only and not for all at the same time. Thanks what, you can for example stream from one OBS towards the Twitch with the bitrate 8000, from another OBS to YouTube in for example 2K resolution with 20, 25,000 bitrate, and the third one you can use as a webcam or anything else. So this is the reason why you may consider to run multiple OBS studios at the same time. But of course watch out because as you will run more OBS it will of course use the more power from your computer. So watch out to not use all of your PC power for your OBS and then you will get not more power for running your games or anything else in the background. So now, as you can see, we are running two separate OBS and it's working just fine. But now let's say that I would open, for example, this OBS YouTube. 
So as you can see, another OBS just running. And now let's say that we would like to create new scene with our webcam. Okay, so I will just add the existing webcam just like that. And hello, everybody. So let's say that we want to use the webcam here. Okay. So now the big problem appears because you simply cannot use the one webcam for multiple OBS at the same time. So in case I would like to run my OBS also in this OBS or this OBS, it's basically impossible because as soon as I would like to add here the video source, just like that, my webcam, I will click on OK and I can't add it because I'm already using it at my top left OBS. So for this, you can use the one thing, okay? So I will basically uh, now deactivate my webcam, just like that. And I'm going to use the webcam in this because basically I called this OBS the webcam. So I will run this webcam. I will go to properties, activate. And now, as you can see, we got already webcam in this OBS, but of course it's easy to use because the left one is closed. So now, as I said, I will open this OBS YouTube. And once again, I cannot use the webcam. As you can see, it's doing nothing. So how we can solve that? Easily. Instead of just running multiple OBS and that you will use webcam only for like one source, you can open the OBS, for example, webcam as I just created, and then I will simply start virtual camera. Thanks to this, what happened is that I'm basically streaming this webcam into my system, into my OBS, and now I can go towards the, for example, OBS YouTube, I will go to webcam, properties, and I can change the device from the my webcam that I cannot use because already another OBS is using it. I can change it to OBS virtual camera, activate and voila. Of course, in case I would simply stretch this and fit it to the screen, it would not have this black bar just like that. But yeah. Basically, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you can easily download, install and run multiple OBS studios at the same time in one device. So that's all for this video. Really hope you found that what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.